Welcome back everybody to look at a brand new 4K Steelbook release and it is 1990s Nikita also known as Le Femme Nikita depending on which country you're watching it in and uh, yeah this is directed by Luc Besson who also did Leon the Professional, The Fifth Element and I found the really rather underrated Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. So this is an action thriller clocking in at 117 minutes long uh, pardon my pronunciations of these names because I'm not the best at pronunciating names but it stars Anne Perillard who was also in Lights of Innocent Blood, Jean Hughes Angolardi, who was in Lights of Maximum Risk, Checky Carrillo, who was a, the main villain in Bad Boys, but it was also in GoldenEye, The Patriot, and the deeply underwhelming The Core. And finally saw Jean Renault, who was also in Le, Le Leon The Professional, as well as Mission Impossible, Ronin, and the first American attempt at a Godzilla film. So it's about a beautiful felon who is sentenced to life in prison for the murder of a policeman who is then given a second chance as a secret political assassin who is controlled by the government. So this is a stylish, well-acted and engrossing film that has a solid amount of action, a really rather good score and the pacing is on point. The cinematography is also well done, the production is overall convincing, there is some decent tension throughout and the character interactions are written effectively. Now sure, the plot isn't all that plausible in the grand scheme of things, and even somewhat really ludicrous considering, you know, it's a drug addict, she's a criminal, she's got really rather quite violent outbursts and tendencies. To form that and mould her into some kind of secret agent is a little bit unplausible, I find, but it is a never boring, this film, and it offers up a good sign of what Besson would do with the genre later in his career. As Leon the Professional is also an action thriller, but that is even better than this. And then his action credentials would feed through into lights of the fifth element, even though that's more of a sci-fi comedy or uh, film than anything. It's uh, still got action in it that is really well well done. And then, you know, likes of Lucy uh, in sorry, Scarlett Johansson, also an action thriller that is somewhat similar to this in a lot of ways as well. So, um, yeah. On the whole, a really rather good film, despite the implausibility of it at, um, in certain respects. But still, solid effort overall, overall, and I really do like the steel bot that this has going on for it. Especially like the red and the black uh, uh, colour uh, choices here. And I particularly like the fact that Nikita is down the side of her gun, the first gun that she actually gets in the film. You also have then uh, Jean Reno's character on the reverse as the cleaner. Who only shows up in the last I think, half an hour of the film or so, but makes a really good impression. And uh, yeah, no doubt is one reason why he got the role of Leon the Professional. And uh, yeah, the only real issue with this is the fact that that is the, effectively the wrong way around, I feel. Because that means that if you're going to put it on the side, on a shelf, it's going to have to be like that. So you're going to have the back on the um, top, whereas it should be like that. But it's not. So I'm not sure if that's the wrong way around or a stylistic choice, but yeah, I just don't, I'm not particularly fond of that. But it's a minor, uh, um, you know, issue with what is otherwise a fantastic looking steelbook. And what's equally as fantastic looking is the 4K itself. Looks excellent. The sound quality is also great as well, especially when it comes to the gun sounds, which obviously there are plenty of being an action film. And uh, yeah, we've also got three discs that we have with uh, this release. So we've got your standard 4K with the extras on, or with some extras on. And then we have the standard Blu-ray here with the same extras as what's on the 4K disc. And then we have a Blu-ray disc here which has even more extras on it as well. So uh, yeah, quite a comprehensive um, release in terms of all of the extras that it has going on, which is, you know, only a good thing. And the extras are, and these are the ones on the 4K and the Blu-ray disc, a... Uh, uh, it's called At the Heart of Nikita, which is the making of Nikita. And then you have the Nikita tour. I imagine that's a, you know, a press tour uh, from this uh, initial release. And then on the bonus Blu-ray disc, we have the likes of Interview with Actress Anne Prillard, Interview with Actor Chucky Carrillo, Interview with Actor Jean Hughes Anglade, then Interview with Assistant Director Christophe Fossault, and then Interview with Restoration Supervisor Andre La Boo. So, uh, yeah, pretty comprehensive extras on there as well. So, um, yeah, on the whole, a really rather good fit, uh, release itself. The film itself is a four stars out of five. Like I said, not my favourite Luke Bess on film. Um, Leon the Professional and the Fifth Element, I enjoy it a little bit more. But quite frankly, to have three great films from the uh, 90s is, uh, yeah, 
a really rather good feat, to be honest. And obviously, Luke Besson would also be a producer from that period as well. I think he produced the film Taxi, which is another good action film. So, um, yeah, on the whole, a really rather good effort. But there is better out there from the director. But still, Steelbook itself looks excellent. And the 4K looks great as well. And, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, that's what you're really looking for on top of a good film and a good film it is so uh, yeah if you have seen the film before that hear your thoughts on it but nonetheless thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye